The holidays are over and we're open for business here at Dublin Nissan. Whether it's the Armada or the Rogue, we want you to come experience the thrill of the drive. With our inventory selection growing every day, we're looking for our best year ever in 2023. Only Dublin Nissan has this winning lineup. From the Frontier to the Rogue to the Sentra, pick your color, pick your options. Henrietta sells cars well. David sells cars well. And remember, go dogs. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Welcome everybody, I'm glad to have with me today, Brian Millett, need no introduction, I see we pretty well got the memo today, we both got <laughs> Yes sir. <laughs> but, uh, well, we're out here at the Dublin Lawrence County Recreation Authority and uh, so much going on this time of the year, I mean it's, it's February basically and March around the corner, I was looking at my calendar last year, we started uh, our T League team that I coach on March 4th. That was the first day. Of course, we started practicing in February. So how does that line up this year? This year is going to be a little different, um, you know, with all the construction going on, with uh, the SPLOS money that we got, the excess SPLOS money that we got from the county to update and redo Southern Pines. Um, you know, we're, we're going to push back probably till the middle of March, starting our season. Now, of course, we'll – We'll still practice and we're in the process of finishing registration. I think registration finishes up this week sometime for um, baseball, soccer, softball, and um, track and field's got uh, probably finished the end of the month. Um, and then soccer, you know, we, we take in all our registration now. And we'll have travel soccer that starts registration here in a minute that will run through our, um, through the department. Um, you know, and we partner with Legion FC out of Warner Robins with that. But, um, you know, we've got a lot going on. Um, you know, we're going to partner with um, Dud Little League, with Little League on the softball side of it. Um, it just it makes a lot of sense to partner with those guys numbers-wise to benefit all the kids in our community. Yeah, so we're um, one community anyway. Yes, sir. No matter where, where you play, if you live up around Dudley, I understand that. But we're all from Lawrence County. Yeah, whether you're from uh, East Dublin, Ranch, Cadwell, you know we are. We're one. We're one community, one county. So, uh, and we serve uh, surrounding communities. We have people come in from Johnson or or, or Wilson we, or wherever. We have a ton of kids from Johnson County, um, Wilkeson County, um, you know, surrounding counties that play Dixie Youth with us, yeah. um, play travel baseball with us. We. We just got through with our last um, makeup travel ball um, um, workout tryout, and uh, we're going to end up with about almost 25 teams wow. in that. So, uh, you know, and and really to give a little breakdown on that, that is all we're doing is um, creating these teams and then adding, you know, kids from all over. Um, it is a huge benefit for our kids in this community. Now they don't have to go to Macon. Now they don't have to go to Atlanta um, to get on these teams. They can play here with a team from Dublin or from Lawrence County with the Rec Authority. And uh, you know, I by no means do I think that this is going to take over Dixie Youth or Little League. I think this is just creating something for kids that want a little more. Um, you know, and and you know that's our job is to not be stagnant, not to be complacent, to continue to add to these programs and, and offer our community more than, you know, um, than just what we have in the past. Yeah, and think about how much better that's gonna be on the pocketbook of, of parents that, uh, I know our granddaughter's in gymnastics. She has to go to Bon Air three times a week. Look at just the time it takes parents and grandparents and gas and, 
things like that, or if you got to go to Atlanta or, or Forsyth or wherever, those things get expensive and for us to offer it here. Yes, sir. So, too, like you're exactly right, on the travel baseball, soccer, on all this stuff, to, to explain this really quick for you, there is nobody at the top making a salary out of this. Yeah. Like, um, I, cause I've ran travel ball organizations for, um, for Lester Miller with game on. And yeah. there is nobody at the top making a salary. We're basically upfront money that is getting paid back to us through our teams, getting paid back to the rec authority. So it's a wash. Yeah. Well, you know, our job really is not to, uh, not for us to make money, but for us to break even. I mean, and I think that's what we've been doing. Um, we've done a really good job of that. Um, you know, we have created some, some opportunities for some kids, um, again, that would have had to leave our county and go do this. And now they can stay at home. And, you know, um, two, one of the things that we're looking at doing is doing our own tournaments, mm -hmm. which in turn is going to Good. bring impact to the community that's great. which you know that's that's again that's part of why southern pines was developed yeah um is economical impact um so we're pleased i th i think uh, we got a really good staff um you know we don't have a ton of staff but we've got a lot of good people that do a lot of good things and do a lot of different things yeah so I agree, and uh, yeah, you try to make it a wash, but the benefits for the families and the children in our community, uh, being able to offer these kind of programs at these levels, because you've really bumped up the bar. And I think another thing, Brian, in your, your background, you played a lot of baseball at every level, but, uh, but think about what you're exposing the kids to. It's kind of like when I played golf, if I play with people not good as I am, my game ain't good, but if I play with guys that are better than me, I always do better. And what we're doing here with these children, our kids, is raising that bar up, and I think we're going to see a better product. I think so too. It is a process. Like I keep, I keep telling everybody to to run an organization like that from a travel ball standpoint. And Aaron McCalvin has done a really good job for us. Um, it's a three-year process. It takes it takes time. It takes time to get everybody playing grad year, playing with kids that they're gonna, and and be honest with you, who's gonna benefit from this? West Lawrence, East Lawrence, yep. Dublin, and Trinity. Yep. They're gonna be the ones that you know their programs are gonna be what benefits from this. Um, you know, they don't have the manpower to do it. We're very fortunate. We are super fortunate with our department to have. You know, that's right up our alley. I mean, we have a lot of guys that either play pro baseball or college baseball or a high level of high school baseball. And, um, you know, we, we've got a lot of things in place. We're not, uh, I mean, I could spend all day talking about the things that we do have in place. And I think sometimes a lot of people in this community don't realize what all we do have going on because we may not do the best job of tooting our own horn. We may not do, but everybody that I talk to outside the community, y'all's rate department is doing what? Yeah. That this is not the norm. And again, you know, being complacent is, um, it's a, it's a nasty word in my mind because yeah. I, I, I don't want to be stagnant or I don't want to be, you know, I want to try new things. Now we may not succeed at it, but it won't be because of, um, yeah, lack you of know, effort, yeah. lack of effort. So. Um, you know, we, we take on the good with the bad, um, you know, is this a perfect storm? No, it's not. It's not perfect. Um, but I'm excited what we are doing, you know, again, for a small department like what we are, compare us to what, what we're no. doing to other yeah. communities and other places, man, it, it's not even close. No, I agree, and I hear that. I, a lot of people in our community know it, and that's why we're here today. I, I want to toot the horn of our Recreation Authority, and they are doing a wonderful job here. Um, but uh, we got to take a break, and we'll come back right after this. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a uh, larger space with physical therapy and uh, we're just excited to have it and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, 
The Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin. At Central Georgia Primary Care, we are dedicated to improving your health and quality of life throughout Lawrence County with state-of-the-art facilities. We are your one-stop shop for all things health care, and there's a location near you no matter where you live. Central Georgia Primary Care is located at 406 Central Drive in East Dublin and just off Hillcrest at 101 Mercer Drive and in Dublin at 230 Industrial Boulevard, north, south, east, or west. There's a Central Georgia Primary Care centrally located near you. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, uh, I guess I ought to just leave the cameras running off camera during the commercial break because we cover as much or more, probably, because you're looking at two people here that are proud to be in Lawrence County and proud of our recreation authority. And not just that, uh, the driving engines that we have in this community. Uh, we were talking off camera about the VA and and different things, but let's talk about, uh, uh, and I don't know if I said this on camera a while ago, but I love to read tags. And when I come out to Southern Pines on the weekend, uh, you know, I see tags from Effingham County and, you know, way up north and around Rockdale, different places, and they're coming here to play ball. They're coming in these travel teams. Talk about uh, my friends that own hotels out here, Phil Patel. A lot of weekends, you can't get a hotel room. Talk about how important this is to the economic engine of Orange County. So, you know, what really drives, um, and a lot of people may not be aware of um, the economical impact and how we come up with impact numbers. Um, so just take, for example, just say 20 teams. 20 teams brings in, you know, 300 kids, which brings in you know, 20 teams would bring in 300 kids, which would roughly bring in about a thousand yeah. spectators. Yeah. Um, with mom, dad, and a sibling, or, or two, or grandparents. Yeah. And, and this is why we really targeted youth sports, because um, your youth stuff from seven, six, to 14, grandparents are coming, parents are coming, brother and sister's gotta come. So, um, you know, that's where we look at, you know, so for where at in Lawrence County are a thousand people coming for a Saturday. Um, we were just talking about it, you know, true tourism for Lawrence County is the VA, the interstate, and then what we do at Southern Pines um, on a consistent basis. Um, so you just think when you ride out here and there's 20 teams out here, that's basically us bringing a thousand people to Lawrence County. And this is where the SPLOS money comes in. SPLOS is, you know, how we got the turfing of the fields was excess SPLOS money. Um, and, uh, you know, SPLOS money is generated, 40% of that is generated from people not from our county. Yeah. So from a business standpoint, we need to come up with ideas to create, you know, um, to bring more people in our community. And what better way to do that to give back to Southern Pines and and update it. Um, it's the park's 20 something years old. Um, so some of the stuff we looked at was putting in pickleball courts, redoing the, the baseball and softball fields, turfing them, um, you know, and doing a special needs playground, which will be super nice. I mean, what our community needs. And, uh, you know, we're getting a whole uh, multi purpose field done. Soccer will utilize the majority of that. But, um, you know, for, for $5 million, I mean, it is a very good investment. Again, we're going to bring a ton of people to Lawrence County, which in the fold is going to save us on property taxes, going to save you um, with your taxes. Um, so that's the impact of um, what these fields bring. That's, this is what, you know, the people before us envision. So um, It's incredible. 
uh, you're not you're not even counting the uh, when the water parks open during the summer and those numbers and and you mentioned something and I've had so many people the last week that's really what got me to call you and let's do this show today is uh, and Brian won't take the credit but everybody else in the community is giving him the credit and that's the pickleball uh, I've had oh my goodness so many people say James you got to do a show about pickleball. Well, do you want to do it with me? Like uh, Miss Eva heads it. And she's not one of the ones even told me. But uh, you need to talk to Brian Millette. He's been the, the driving force there. He found the space for us to, to put it out there. And there's other places in the community. Uh, Dr. Williams, uh, he made the gym available for pickleball. Yes. So it's been a, a, a group effort. But uh, pickleball, uh, this thing is just out of hand. It's growing like a wildfire in it. It is, um, you know, I think the sport was um, created in 1965. So it, you know, it's, it's fairly new, um, but it has, for the life of me, I don't know where it's been since 65. But, <laughs> I, I but, heard of it to last year. <laughs> but also, um, I think it allows everyone an opportunity to do things. Yeah. And again, um, for us, it's right up our alley. We don't, you know, we have to create, come up with new things to want to, um, get people to come to Southern Pines, um, programs, um, you know, and this falls in, we have a big senior following with pickleball. We have some good people involved in pickleball. We have some people that are very, um, you know, they love pickleball. Yeah. There ain't no other way to put it, That's but they, yes, sir, they love pickleball. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think, um, creating these new things for, for, uh, for Southern Pines and, Having Southern Pines almost as a one-stop shop for people in our community, for people to come to, um, again, that's why it was designed. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're excited about what we have going on with pickleball. We have some additions we need to um, continue to make at Southern Pines, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, just think about, and you're, you see behind us this map of the park, but uh, on any given day, North, south, east, and west in this park. You know, you got softball, you got soccer, you got baseball, you got pickleball, you got the water park, all these different, and, and, and you got different people doing different things. Uh, that's what recreation is. It's not just about baseball or football or whatever. Recreation is about serving the family and giving them something to do. And you're right, pickleball. When I first went out last year to Stubbs Park, and I said, what is pickleball even? I watched some of them play. I mean, I, she wanted to give me some free lessons. I said, no, it looks addicting, <laughs> and I don't need nothing else to do. <laughs> but but the, watching the people play pickleball is, but I, I, they love it, and I'm glad we got it at Southern Pines because there's one more one more nail in these different places on this park that we can stretch out and do things. So recreation is a family affair. It, it's a family affair, and that's what you got to do. You mentioned a while ago, uh, uh, we were talking about how many play the different sports. Let's just zoom in on uh, baseball starting in March. Southern Pines, is n that's where we play the games, but the recreation authority is much bigger than Southern Pines is. Yes, sir. You know, we, we branch out. We uh, Obviously, we use the gyms for basketball at Oconee and Stubbs. Um, you know, here in February, we're going to do an exhibition game, um, which I didn't even tell you about a while ago. But, you know, we look at using these, utilizing these other parks, too. So on February the 3rd at 4.30, we've got double middle school playing East Lawrence Middle School, and that'll be the first annual Roscoe Breyer yeah. Invitational. Um, you know, and it's just an exhibition game, but it allows people to go to a different park and see. Um, I grew up playing with the county, and we played in Cadwell, Rince, Dexter, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, played all over East Got Dublin. Got the truck and took off. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, again, um, would love to get back into some of that, but um, Southern Pines, we utilize um, Springdale Park. We utilize, you know, the other parks in the city um, and again, we're city county funded and we're, we're, thank goodness we have that. And, uh, um, you know, I don't know many other recreation apartments that have the amenities that we have, yep. but, and we should be grateful as a community 
to our city and county for this. And you talk to some of the bids, I know you do, I do. I love to meet new people, and we're out here uh, playing ball, listening to the people that come in, and they say, man, there is nowhere. We don't know of anywhere. Uh, and you get this turf in, I think you'd have to travel to, I think as far as Panama City, uh, I know Water Robins has nice facilities. Uh, maybe Metro Atlanta, I don't really know. You know more about that than I do, but you would have to travel and look real close to get something of the caliber of the, the facilities we have here, Whitney. We will be. And there is nowhere in Atlanta that has 15 fields on site. Um, been in travel baseball for 20 years. Um, again, there is nowhere that has what we have, and we're so fortunate to have it in middle Georgia. Um, the nearest places with 15 fields on site that have turf that you'll be able to play rain or shine is Panama City. Yeah. Um, so that calling card for us is going to be astronomical. Um, you know, it's, it, again, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get this out, um, you know, for people to see this. Um, but 15 fields on site to where you can go one place, park, and walk to the fields that you're going to be playing on all weekend. Um, in Atlanta, you're going to have to drive all over everywhere. Yeah, yeah. you and know, be stuck in and, and be stuck <laughs> and um, back and forth, back and forth, and then you may have to go 20 miles to get a hotel. Yeah. Um, but we're fortunate, you know. Um, again, um, really excited. I know people in our community once they start seeing this. Um, you know, we'll be the ones that reap the benefit of this from a community standpoint. Um, and we just got to do a good job of taking care of it and getting it out there. Okay, I want to go back. You've already mentioned this kind of, it was like sublineal message that come across. You mentioned it quickly. But, y'all, I want you to understand something. I hear it. I was at the courthouse yesterday. I hear it everywhere I go. I cannot believe they're spending $5 million on artificial turf out at uh, Southern Pines. But it's not coming out of our property taxes. You got to realize you said it a while ago, splots money. And probably half the money, you said 40%, probably half the money that is, this comes from out of, uh, out of other counties. And I, I was talking to Brian before we started the interview. You go downtown on the weekend, y'all just do this for me. You see that, you start looking at tags. It's Dodge County, Emanuel County, it's uh, Sylvania, and places like that, Jenkins County. People come in to eat. They come to go to the doctor. They come to, to play ball or whatever. And um, this money is coming, a lot of it, from other communities. So just talk about that one more time. I just don't want you to miss the fact that this is coming out of splash money. So I, I'll give you a quick story. So I was at Tractor Supply about two months ago, and a gentleman behind me who I've known for a long time, and he mentioned something to me, he's like, explain to me why my tax dollars are building, so, uh, going to $5 million at Southern Pines. And I, I looked at him, I said, yes, sir. I said, it's not your, it's not your taxes, it's not your, your property taxes. Well, at the time, everybody had gotten a refi with their taxes. Right. And, you know, <laughs> it, the, the optics <laughs> of it, the optics of it, he, he couldn't put two and two together. But at the end of the day, this, I, I showed him, I said, what you're about to buy here is going to be a percentage of that going to yeah. this. So it's what you buy. It's the sales tax. It's all this. Again, it's 40% um, of this is coming from people not in our county. So how do we create, what are some of the things we can create to bring people to our county? Well, Southern Pines is a huge deal with that. Southern Pines brings a ton of people. The water park brings a ton of people. We have a lot of things that people are, uh, surrounding counties and counties, you know, long ways away want to come and spend the weekend here in, at um, Southern Pines. So we're super fortunate. I know it's hard for people to understand sometimes, um, but it's sales tax. Yes. It is sales tax. It has nothing to do with your property taxes. Yep. Every time you buy, whether it's a candy bar or an Piece automobile, <laughs> you know, either way, you buy an automobile as much as they are these days. You're, you're contributing a lot there, but that money is invested in our community, in our children. I was talking to a man uh, recently about crime in Lawrence County, and I said, well, look, 
if we get these kids involved in high school sports or at Southern Pines, get them involved in the community, give them things to do, give them things to, to, to put their energy into, uh, if we'll invest in that versus building more prisons, I think we'll all be happier at the end of the day. We'll be safer. Sports. Sports to me is a, a great outlet in a sense of it gives you a lot of different things, qualities. One, it makes you accountable. Two, it, it allows you, it, it really makes you appreciate being on time. And I've never known anybody that didn't want to be a part of a team. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm, I'm I guess you could say I've lived in a sheltered world <laughs> or a sheltered life because I've been a part of a baseball team or some type of team for a large majority of my life. But I, I don't, I, I can't wrap my head around, I, I don't know anybody that don't want to be part of a team. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just, um, there's something with that. And whenever you, you're working for the recreation department, you're part of that team when you're, you know, at the, at TV 35, you're yeah. part of that team, you know. Um, I just, the qualities that sports brings to you and, um, you know, competing, um, it's just a win, yeah. uh, a win for our youth. And it makes you a better parent, makes you a better employee, it makes you a better employer. Socializing yeah. for these kids to get to socialize with other kids that they ordinarily probably wouldn't get to see or get off be phones. around, get off the phones. <laughs> Um, that's that's a huge part that we deal with now is how do we get kids outside, yeah. um, you know. We didn't have to worry about it. When I was growing up, mom would say, y'all be back by dark. You know, we were out doing whatever, building a treehouse, fishing, you know, creating something to do. Yes, you sir. Know, we didn't, and you're right. I had a coach here in Orange County, football coach. That narrows it down to four, don't it? But, uh, talking about the difference in when he started coaching 30 years ago versus now. He said, 30 years ago, James, he said, they were my players were coming in out of the field. You know, work the field, they work gardens, working in tobacco field or whatever, and they come in and they're ready to go. Well, now they've been sitting in the house playing Nintendo games or whatever gaming system, eating McDonald's, and then they come out, they're falling, they're throwing up, they're, they're cramping, they're, you know, because it's different. Is, is different kids the way they're raised today. So fast forward to recreation, it's getting them out and doing those things. Now, you know, recreation was designed to teach kids to socialize and exercise. And, you know, at, in a nutshell for us to uh, allow kids to get out and do sports and play sports and socialize and exercise. Again, I have three kids. They're all three different. One, if you allowed him, would stay inside all day. The others, go, 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 go. Um, and my youngest is Down syndrome. So we have a whole different dynamic in our, in our household. Um, but we make it a point for our kids to do something, um, to get them and, and let them be part of something and make them be accountable for this and, um, you know, I, I like that recipe. I like, um, you know, I think um, that is a losing. Um, we've lost some of that because we have allowed our kids to do some things and uh, stay inside. There's nothing against it. Not every kid is an athlete. Not every kid, but, you know, every kid needs to exercise. Every kid needs to get out and, yeah. you know, get breath of fresh air. Um, so, well, and finally, it gives them those soft skills. When they go to work, uh, they do, they get to work on time. They're a better employee and so many benefits from it as they grow up. And uh, we just reap those benefits here in our community and our community being those counties surrounding Lawrence County. So we're gonna take another break and come back and wrap things up. Stay with us. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Or your appliance is not performing correctly, call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. 
trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area. Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Hey, I got bad reception, but the boys did such a great job letting our friends know about the chip shortage and ordering their vehicles. Now I just need the vehicles to come in. I don't want to end up with pie in my face. I want pie in my face. Like Lost them. Call, wow, look at all the new vehicles. Ordering works after all. You got pie now. Others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if Auto Owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to wrap things up. If you are just joining us, I'm talking to Brian Millett. He's the head honcho around here at the Dublin Lawrence County Recreation Authority. Wears many hats throughout the week, throughout the year. And if you are just joining us, we'll be airing this again. Or you can go to our YouTube channel at TV35 WDIG and watch it all you want to watch it. Just critique us and call me and... Uh, let me know what we did wrong, what we did right. So, uh, just to give you an idea about our YouTube channel, Brian, uh, I was just looking at the numbers. In the last quarter, the last three months, we've had 1.1 million people That's awesome. uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel. And then we have a lot of content like this and uh, keep you up to date with what's going on. You're a big part of that, obviously. But, okay, I want to end with a couple of things. One, your staff, we were talking... Um, about Felipe and, and these guys that it seems like they're everywhere. Uh, you got a wonderful staff, don't you? I got a great staff. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't like the word boss. I like the word leader. Um, you know, and with that, I, these guys make me look good from Miss Kay Hughes, who's yeah. been here for 40. Um, she is recreation. <laughs> um, you know, to uh, Jessica at the front desk answering the phone. She is the backbone of this. She yeah. she keeps up um, with all our social media stuff. Um, she does a great job um, from, you know, Jordy, who's our athletic director, and Curtis Coates, who's our do-it-all guy, you know, and take in mind these guys, you know, wear a lot of different hats. Also, um, Curtis is over the water park. Aaron McAlvin. Um, Aaron is a... You know, he, he does a great job with the travel baseball. He's going to be over the Dixie Youth. Um, and, you know, he just, he helps us in every aspect with that. Um, to JJ, um, she does, I mean, she's over the, uh, the concession stand and uh, helps with the water park, um, which is a huge business for us. The con us taking back over the concession stand has generated and allowed us to do a lot of things with the rec department. Yeah. Um, you know, to our operational staff with uh, um, Matt Smith, um, Colby Owens, Hunter Davis, um, Felipe. Um, you know, we've, we've lost Robin McNair to uh, retirement, but Robin, Chubby has been a big deal for us, and I still keep up with Chubby to this day. Yeah. Um, you know, to Brandon Evans, Lee Jates, uh, Corey Dean. I mean, uh, Corey Davis, um, you know, Corey does a great job. Um, you know, all those guys, we couldn't do what we do out here without the help of those guys, and they, they make me look good. So uh, super excited about, you know, what the new year comes on. Um, you know, we've hired some new people. Casey Cullen is out here now helping yeah. us. Um, he's kind of a do-it-all guy for us, and he's worked hard. Um, you know, trying to make sure I don't forget anybody because they'll remind yeah. me that, hey, you forgot me. <laughs> um, you know, and that's that's pretty much everybody that we have out here. Um, you and know, the I, many volunteers, Brian, uh, 
this this department couldn't run without the people you that watching out here that yeah. coach a little league and spend those countless hours practicing and encouraging these kids and uh, uh, we talked about it before we got started today but uh, these coaches uh, are, are creating the love of the game to people that to me I compare it with fishing if you ever take a young kid and they catch them they catch them a mess of fish they hooked on fishing the rest of their life same thing with baseball because uh, a lot of these people coaching like me we played ball and then you grow up you want to coach ball you want to be involved uh, at some level, and you got to admit these volunteers are incredible. Coaches are the backbone. Don't 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 take this. You know, without without coaches, we we couldn't do anything that we do. Um, you know, and that that's uh, Dixie Youth. I tell those guys all the time, man, what they put in this, um, they are the recreation department. Yeah. Um, from Dixie Youth to our rec soccer to um, rec basketball to rec football. I mean, we could not do it without you guys. And again, I always thank you guys and thank you for all your time because, and as parents, we need to understand that, you know, instead of hollering at somebody about what they're not doing, think about what they are doing. They are taking their time to work with your child. And you know, I, I challenge everybody, if you're not satisfied with your coach, get out and coach. Yeah. It's it's not the easiest job. Get out and coach. Get out and uh, you know I tell people all the time. Hey, um, you're not you're not satisfied with the way Brian Millett's coaching your kid in Dixie Youth. Well, come on. Yeah, you, be a part you, of the you, solution. Yeah, don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. Yeah. So uh, you know, again, I'm grateful for all the coaches. Um, grateful for all the staff, for all the concession stand workers, for all the people that pick up trash. To everybody, um, thank you. I mean, really and truly, um, could not do it without everybody. There is there is no one person that that makes all this happen. It's a you know it's a tribe. Yeah, amen. It's a team effort, and uh, y'all, uh, nobody's perfect, and we always want grace. We need to give grace. Yes, sir. And uh, that's what we should be giving these coaches and help out. Uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, none of us are perfect. So. Okay, uh, board of you got a great board. I, let me tell you something. I could spend um, all day talking about my board. Um, I uh, listen. We got board members that have kids involved in the community, kids involved in um, in every aspect of what we do. Um, you know, and that starts with. I always joke with him, but Jack Walker is the best chairman of all time. Yep. Um, phenomenal man. Um, you know, what he does, I, I tell him every day, thank you. Yeah. Um, you got um, Jack Walker, you got Chris Smith, um, city council, awesome guy. Rich Mascara, great guy. Um, our Tiffany Stanley, um, you know, we just, with our board, we hit so many different spots and, and so many good, smart, business savvy um, people that understand, um, you know, Jeff Davis is on our board. Trey Kemp's on our board. I mean, those two guys, county commissioners, um, they do a phenomenal job. They're uh, very intelligent men. Um, and then Clark Daly. I mean, he, all these guys serve a purpose on here, and they all touch in, and they all can relay, you know, relate to everything that we're doing as a as a department, as From an authority. The finance end to the to, to the numbers part. The, to soccer, to yeah. basketball, to hey. I mean everything so um again I am so grateful and I tell them every board meeting we have thank you for all that they do because they they don't get recognized um nobody tells them thank you these are all the unsung yeah. people that that uh and unseen yes yeah, sir yeah. and uh you know I I do uh again from you know thank you for all you do because we couldn't do any of this without you guys yeah, um, you, going back to leaders, you got leaders there, leaders in the community, leaders in the recreation authority, and y'all, you don't the, these men that and uh, women that he just named, you don't see them. They're they're behind the scenes making it happen. I mean, just they make the tough decision. I mean, yeah. you know, um, you know, they lay out everything, and and look, we again, we have such a great board. 
I'm every board meeting I walk out going unbelievable. I mean, yeah. um, you know, these guys get it. They they uh, you know they're very intelligent men and women. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. They they must be a good board. They hired you. So. <laughs> See, he's not going to say that. I got to say it. I mean, it's the truth. But well, uh, you named all these other names, and uh, you are, and I'm with you, I, I hate the word boss. I just hate that word. We are a team. We're with the TV station and the, and the Recreation Authority. We are teams, and our teams intertwine with each other. Uh, and there again, it makes our community even better, Brian. Yes, sir. It makes it so much better. Well, you see behind me here, that's a big, big, <laughs> a big part to take care of. But isn't it great that our forefathers, uh, the Louis Currys of the world, uh, had the vision, pushed it through, the citizens voted on it, and uh, we've got something here. We said it a while ago. Y'all, uh, other than, and I think you agreed with me a while ago, uh, Panama City, I guess, uh, uh, and maybe one of Robbins, I'm not familiar with their facilities, but I know they're, they're big in, uh, in the sports. But, uh, so I'm just naming three within a, a six-hour ride. Yes, sir. Uh, but it, it is. It's phenomenal. We are so thankful to have Southern Pines here and have it under the leadership of, of Brian and his staff, and they do do a wonderful job. I know when I call out here or come out, there's always somebody to help. You know, it, they might not have the answer then, but they go to K and get it. Well, I, <laughs> yes, sir. And, and you're right. She uh, she came. Well, this is a new building, but K's been around since uh, I think before it was Dublin Lawrence. Yes, sir. Was she? She was with the with uh, Dublin Recreation yeah. Department, and then she's been here since the merger. But she's been around. But you know, just to talk about a little bit of this is. You know, we're so grateful for, and, and I make sure that I tell Mr. Louis Curry this every time I see him because yeah. um, he fought tooth and nail for, to make That's this right. happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just that vision, having a plan, um, having, having a, you know, that, that dream of what truly giving back to our community. So, um, you know, I, I would love to thank, um, you know, the county, Lawrence County, uh, the Board of uh, Commissioners for um, giving us the SPLOS money, um, and Brian Rogers. I would like to thank the city for all that they do and help us um, as being a partner. Um, and uh, again, I challenge everybody in our community to come out and see Southern Pines and realize what we truly have in our community. There are. I don't think sometimes people realize how grateful and uh, how blessed we truly are. Amen. So. Amen. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Brother. Yes, sir. Thank Always you. enjoy talking to you. And thank you for joining us today right here on TV 35. <laughs>
and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. Roach Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boot. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Tax Time America has been bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America has provided our community with friendly, professional tax preparation and is always up to date on IRS rules and regulations and on the Affordable Care Act. Depend on Tax Time America, an authorized e-file provider, registered tax preparer, and a member of the Associated Tax Professionals. Tax Time America brings experience and ethical practices to you with no money out of pocket. Get your $2,500 tax advance. Call Tax Time America now at 274-8181. Tax Time America Income Tax Service, located at 103 High Street in the Northside Shopping Center just off North Jefferson. Bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America, located next to Cricket Wireless on North Jefferson in Dublin. Call Tax Time America now, 274-8181. Tax Time America would like to honor and remember a devoted friend and mentor, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Smith, October 12, 1962 to August 14, 2019.